I was brought into the world by a Mahara physician. From the beginning, Mahara has been a big part of my life. Our archivist, she says she's the keeper of the story, and I think she is, but I think I'm the teller of the story. I would say everybody knows Mr. Atwater as the tour guide. I joke with him that he was born here and just never left. That's why he knows so much history and knows so much about Meharry. And he's also, of course, known for his dress, bow ties and um, suits. That's every day. That's not, oh, I'm going to dress up for the camera. That's every single day. So here is our calendar. A whole lot of tours yesterday. He always says I give him gifts. When I give him tour requests, those are his gifts. I've never had Mr. Atwater say no to giving a tour. He's even come in on his day off to give a tour. When I started doing tours, it was a job that no one wanted. I said, okay, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it in a way that's gonna mean something. I honestly believe that if my job was sweeping the floors around here, I try to be the best floor sweeper there is and probably would want to move up to shining the floors and you would definitely talk about my shine. It was 1824 when a man by the name of Samuel Meharry, a white man, was making his way across Kentucky. When we had the the salt wagon story and the way he presents it, it's like he really feels it and he experiences it and takes you on that ride with him. It was dark. He was in the wilderness. His wagon became bogged down in the mud. All he could find was a slave's cabin. He went up, knocked on the door. The people of the house let him in. The next morning, the man of the house went with him, helped him repair his wagon, and sent him on his way. Samuel Meharry was so overcome by this act of kindness. He said, I have no money, but one day I will do something to help black folk. Just having someone who really is connected to it, telling you that story, is just brought kind of <laughs> tears. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I tell the leaders of these groups, that they are contributing to the dreams of these children. Let them know that there are black doctors, black dentists, black researchers. When you give them, show them the possibilities, then they can dream about it. And if they can dream about it, they can do it. Mr. Atwater, I was touched by your passion. Thank you for giving such a knowledgeable tour. I thoroughly enjoyed the entire experience, sincerely. It's good to be appreciated. Kind of affirms your hope that you are making a difference, that you are doing something meaningful. Worship of God through service to mankind. That's my service. You know, you got the doctors in the hospital, they have their service. But I have a service also. It's like a mission. It's like a ministry. The better I am, I really believe the better they're going to be. So I want to be the best that I can be. Thanks again, Mr. Warren. We'll see you.